Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Ben Clark and I'm a quadriplegic personal trainer. Before we get started on today's workout, be sure that you have seeked medical advice from a medical professional before undertaking anything you do in this video. Also, make sure that you stay within your limits and to keep hydrated throughout the whole thing. Without further ado, I think it's time that we start today's workout. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be doing a arm workout using some dumbbells or something equivalent to them. Before we get onto that though, let's do a warm up. And to do that, make sure you've got plenty of space, you don't need any equipment, and make sure you're going to hit anything for anyone. And we're going to start off with just swinging our arm round forwards in a circle, just like so. I hope you're doing well, everyone, today, and I'm glad to have you back for another great workout here with myself, Ben, from Adapt and Form. And uh, also with willpower as well. And so yeah, awesome to have you guys here. Just keep it going forwards, just like so. Change direction now, so we're going to do the same thing, but in the opposite direction. Good work, everyone. Excellent. So yes, we're going to be working on our arms today with our um, with our weight. Let's change our arms. So that's going to be our biceps. Triceps and a little bit of shoulder as well, just because they link in together quite well. Um, both the biceps and the triceps link in with the shoulders quite well. Um, so we're going to add a little bit there, but our main focus is going to be the biceps and the triceps. Okay. And then change direction. And the fantastic thing about working our arms is that they're really useful for day to day activities, especially for wheelchair users. Um, if we are for example, using our triceps, let's go well, over touching opposite shoulder first, just like so. So yeah, if we're working on our triceps, then what's good about that is that we are increasing our strength in that area, which is going to help with our pushing of our wheelchairs. So if you're watching this and you're in a wheelchair, which I think most of you are, then building our tricep strength is really important for that. Now with the biceps, it's also really important to balance it out. It actually helps because it helps support the uh, tricep in different exercises. So combining the two together is a fantastic opportunity to be able to work those arms hard so we'll be able to push our wheelchair stronger, faster, and more efficient. Let's take this arm here, get straight up with it, and back down. Good stuff. Yeah, who have been enjoying these uh, sessions so far anyway, with myself here as for willpower. If you have, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. It'd be awesome to support willpower for helping support people like myself to be able to show you guys to be able to do this, which is awesome. Let's change arms here. And then also, if you want to see more about what I do, you can check me out at Adapt to Perform. That's on Instagram, Facebook, or the YouTube channel with over 300 videos all dedicated towards fitness for wheelchair users. So if you want to find something a little bit different, then uh, be sure to check those out. We're going to take the arms here, we're going to go out to the side, just like so. If you can't do one, if you can't do both arms, just do one at a time, that's also fine. And then maybe do three on one side, then swap, do the other side, and then swap again. Or if you can do both, do them both. And with all my workouts as well, just do the best you can. I will give some alternatives for some tricep exercises because I know that's one that essentially could be you might struggle with. So I'll give you some alternatives as we're going through the session itself. Let's just do some shoulder rotations here. Just going backwards with this. And then we're going to go forwards now. Excellent. We're going to take the arm and we're going to come around, like we're coming forwards, but instead of going forwards here, what we're going to do is come across our body and then back again. So like you're trying to do the letter X in front of you, just like so. Don't worry if you don't get it to be a move. I've seen uh, all sorts of people do this in all sorts of ways, so don't worry about it. Just do the best you can. Great stuff so far though. Okay, let's change arms into this one now. Good stuff. So with the dumbbells, I'm going to be using some hands. I have 
some difficulties using my hands. Um, so I, I use out of hands to help me grip onto my dumbbells. Now, if you don't have dumbbells, do not worry. You can use uh, some water bottles filled with water or something similar, just something that's heavy. And the same in both hands. So I'm going to get myself set up now with those active hands because it takes me a little while. I won't bore you waiting for that. And then we we'll get straight into the workout itself. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I've got my dumbbells on now. We're using my active hands. Now the weights I'm using is five kilograms. But if you're st just starting out, do not worry too much about the weight. Just make it a light weight and just get through the exercise that we're doing. And then from there, if you want to progress, then you can get something heavier. Now, for these exercises, it would be better to change weights in between. So, because some exercises require heavier weights or lighter weights than others. But seeing as it's, uh, I'm going to be attached to my hands here, I want to uh, make sure that I'm doing stuff that is relatively hard for each one of those. So, I've gone for five kilograms, and I think that's going to work out just right for me. So, instead, we're going to be using bicep, triceps in this workout. And we're going to start off with the bicep, the really simple easy bicep curl for four sets of 12, okay? So let's get going, ready, off we go. This is up, twisting it, and then the right one here, good stuff. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Good stuff. Okay, we're going to rest it there for about a minute, roughly, and then we're going to go again for another set. As I said, we're doing four sets in total. So, are you ready to see that? Okay. Alrighty then. So, yeah, it's important that we do the rest here as well. So, we're making that sure that our muscles are okay to do the next set. Because if we don't, then we have the potential of, uh, Failing a little bit too early, which we don't want to do. All right, then we're ready to go. Three, two, one. Off we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Last one. 12, good stuff. Okay, rest in there again for roughly a minute. The timing of the rest isn't necessarily important. There are some signs behind it, but I think it's most important that we are fully recovered so we can go into doing another set. You don't want to do 12 and then on the next set only be able to do eight. You want to be able to complete the full 12. So make sure you get enough rest to get that in, but not too much rest that you are uh, just wasting time, essentially. So good stuff so far. So yeah, this is working on our biceps. It's really good for several different things. Like anytime we're pulling anything towards us, it's fantastic for. Let's go for set number three now. Off we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, good stuff, resting them. So what I will say, there's plenty of ways you can make this harder, especially over time. So what we want to imply is something called progressive overload. So if we just do, say five kilograms, we just do that all the time, you know, a couple of days a week, then what's gonna happen? Our body just gets used to it and we don't progress. We just get good at lifting five kilograms over and over again, which is fine if we want to maintain what we are currently in. But if we want to progress and get stronger or build our endurance, then what we want to do is increase over time. Really simple way to do that is to keep increasing the reps. So maybe you've got five kilograms and you can do eight reps of it. You do eight reps until you think, hey, maybe I can do nine reps. And then uh, in the weeks to come, then you can increase. When you get up to about 15 reps, however, wow. we're going to go for the fourth set one. Explain this. So yeah, once we get up to around 15 reps, then we want to probably increase the uh, the weight, and then we start back down maybe at eight, but we're at eight kilograms maybe. And then we keep going until we get hit that 15 reps again, and we increase that weight right, that weight again. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. And that way, 
we are progressing all the time. Okay, so for this next one, we're going to be doing a tricep exercise. And I know a few of you out there that may be uh, quadriplegic or have some difficulties with the tricep area, and that's fine. I'm going to give you an alternative. Um, but for everyone else, what we're going to do is single arm here, then lean forwards, and then extend the arm backwards, just like so. I'm going to come forward, step forward, so extend it out like there with single arm. If you can't do that, then what I want you to do instead is to go from here and single arm row, so just with a straight arm. So if you can, do a bent arm like that. If you can't, do a straight arm, okay? We're going to do three sets of 10 of this one, because it's a little bit tricky in this position. Sorry, four sets of 10 of this, and we're going to be alternating arms, because uh, just because I have to, otherwise I'm going to fall out So and we don't want to while we're exercising. Okay, so I'm just going to come here forwards. Ready, off we go. Actually, I'll go here, that's better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's change arms. Off we go. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good stuff. Get a little bit of rest there, just to catch up. And not as much rest as before, because while one arm is resting, the other arm is exercising. However, we want to just have a little bit extra rest. I think mean, that's about enough now, so let's get going on that first arm again. Off we go. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, as you can see, the uh, for me, the triceps aren't as strong as my biceps. So I'm unable to lift quite as much for that amount of reps. So bringing it down to 10 reps is a really good way to keep the uh, session flowing. Nine. 10, but without, um, yes, I'm not switching in and out of the weights all the time. So I'm only just using this one rep, uh, this one weight for all of my exercises. So it's a really easy way to do it. So, you know, because we've got the active ones on, they don't really switch out in all the time. If you don't know what these are, um, maybe I'll get the guys to uh, stick a link down in the description down below to active hands, or I'll stick a uh, link up on the page here. But it's a fantastic piece of equipment if you've got any type of Disabilities in your hands, it could be a really good thing, especially if you struggle to grip. Ready to go again on this side? We go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. Good. Let's change sides here. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, a little bit of rest. That's two sets three. We've got number two sets to go. Hope we're doing well so far. Uh, remember, if you can't do the full extension of the arm, then do it with straight arm. So the straight arm would be just straight arm back, and that's working more on the rear deltoids with the triceps in an isometric arm position. So uh, you won't be able to do that one. Okay, we've got another step to go. Ready? Here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take an arm. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good stuff. Another little thing as well. If you can, I think sometimes it can be difficult with this, but try not to swing so much with the bottom. So when we're here, we try not to swing the weight up, rather, you know, pause on each one. So pause rather than swinging it through. 
Because when we start swinging it through, what happens is that um, we're using momentum for the exercise rather than our muscles. So uh, yeah, be sure to do that. Okay, ready to go again? Off we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Other side now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good stuff. Okay. All right. So for this next one, I'm going to actually put myself against the wall. And the reason for that is that I don't want to be tipping over backwards because I'm going to put, be putting my hands over my head. So I don't want to be tipping back. So I'm just going to shimmy myself into position. And this, what we're going to say to do now is combine two of these exercises together. Now, again, uh, I will give a little uh, demonstration and I will explain a different way to do this if you can't. So, going back in school, so I'm not going to fall over, which is uh, a neat little trick if you uh, do struggle with your balance, with your tipping. So, the exercise is bicep curl. Now when we get to here, we go an overhead press, okay? So that's working our triceps a little bit and as well as our shoulders. Now, if you can't do this because you haven't got the shoulder function, that's fine. What I want you to do instead is go a bicep curl and then a front raise. Now, you might want to do it alternate, so it's bicep, front raise, just like so. And if that's too difficult, because I know the front raise is hard, you can go bicep curl, and draw raise, okay? In that way, we're eliminating the use of the tricep, but we're still getting a workout in and getting our shoulders a little bit of a workout too. So that's just an extra little thing you can do. Uh, there's three different options there, depending on what you can and can't do. Okay, so let's get going on this now. I'm going to be doing the bicep curls and overhead press. We're going to be doing three sets, well, four sets of ten. Sorry, I keep saying three. So just a little bit. Ready? Up we go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good stuff. Okay. Rest in there a little bit. Good work, everybody, so far. Seems like my phone's on now, so I do apologize for that. Um, all right, so yeah, that's one set. We've got three more sets to go. Hope you're doing all right with it so far. Hope you're coping with the workout so far. It'd be great if you uh, have any comments, but you can put them in the chat below. I'll uh, check back periodically to answer any questions people might have. So if you have any questions that you want to throw in my way, then yeah, just pop them down there. That'd be great. All right, then. Are we ready? Next set, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good stuff. Rest in one second. Oh, starting to feel the burn there in my arms. It catches up with you eventually during these sessions. But I will say, at any point during these workouts, any of these workouts that I do, if you feel like you need to rest, just pause the video and give yourself extra rest. If you feel like you uh, the reps are too many, just do less reps. If you feel it's too little, do more. If you feel the weight's too heavy, do lighter. You know, just it's very easily adaptable for you. I'm just providing the sets, the reps, and the exercises to do, and you just work out from there, okay? I'd rather you did little. So I'd rather, even if it was like, I'm going to do one set of five on each of these exercises. That's a great place to start. And it's a way you can develop from. Don't feel like you have to go straight at the deep end, you know, start shallow and work your way out. So say Romans and building. 
Ready, let's go again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I feel like I might miss camera there. Sorry for it. It's a bad habit. All right, we've got one more set of this to go. Excellent stuff so far there, everyone. You, you normally notice during the workout when I, when I get a little bit quieter is, uh, is normally when I'm, it's, Started again harder. But normally when I start going as well for some reason. Alright, we've got that set to go ready. Off we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, excellent. Okay, I'm gonna keep my wood chain here for this last exercise we're doing. But what I want you to do is, it's similar to what we just did there, but it's gonna be a superset. So if you've never done a superset before, is where we do one exercise and then no rest straight into the next exercise. So what we're gonna do is hammer curls. So hammer curls is where we do the bicep curl, but instead of twisting, as we come up, it's just straight up like this. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do six hammer curls, and then we're gonna do six overhead extensions, just like so. So that's the superset. So it's six, then six, and then we uh, swap arms, okay? We're just gonna do three sets of this, uh, not four sets for this last one. Um, and yeah, basically you're fatiguing one part of the arm and then you go straight to the other, and what it does is help with the timing thing. So you can get more work out in less time. Which is fantastic. Sorry again for you. <laughs> So yeah, let's get going on that. So I'm going to do it one arm at a time, just because I won't, I won't be able to get the balance otherwise. <laughs> Are you ready? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and overhead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Changing arms. One. Two, three, four, five, six. You might be thinking, why don't I do one bicep on one arm, then one bicep on the other arm? Four, five, six, and then triceps. But why well, I don't want to do that, I'm going to parachute on. Two, three, four, five, six. It's because I want to fatigue that one arm. Okay, this one's in there. You guys carry on. Oh, that's the big one. Three, four, five, six. Change now. Three, four, five, six. So yeah, if I did one bicep, then the other bicep, and then into one tricep, then the other tricep, they're getting a rest, and that's not what I want. Five. Six. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh, and if you can, sorry, I should have said, if you can't do the uh, tricep exercises, then just swap that out with a different exercise. Either the front raise, or the lateral raise. Six. Good work there, everyone. Session done for today. I'm just going to take my wrist weights off, and then I'll join you for the cool down at the end, okay? Okay, so to finish off then, we're just doing a little bit of a cool down. I've got my weights off and the of hands too. So we're going to just do a little bit of a cool down, which is really, really important as well. 
So, good start with some breathing. So, breathing in nice and deeply. And breathing out. In your own time. So I hope you enjoyed that workout, guys. You can build some strength up in those arms. It's going to help you with that pushing of the wheelchair and also we've got pull stuff towards you. Helping you a little bit out there with the muscular endurance as well. Yeah, combining those sets together, especially with the uh, the supersets, the ones where we're combining exercises together. It's a really fantastic way to able to get in lots of workout, build the muscular endurance, and yeah, basically just succeed in a whole new way. Okay, then. we're going to take our arm here and reach just backwards, reaching all the way back, and then reaching all the way forward, just like so. We're going to do five of these. And the reason why I do a nice, good cool down is that we've been in fight or flight mode, essentially, when we're exercising. Heart rate's gone up, service the blood pressure, everything's sort of pumping a little bit more. And what we do is bring that back down and start to relax. When we start to relax, our body says, hey, okay, I can start to recover now. We change the size, by the way. When we can start to recover, it means that we start to heal, we grow quicker. And the quicker we can get ourselves into that healing process, the better. So doing some breathing, doing some stretching, cooling ourselves down gets us into the right set, setting. Reaching over to the side and then to the other side. So we want to be able to uh, fully relax and fully just sort of chill out as soon as possible. Get some good food in us, make sure we're hydrated. It's all good stuff. Okay. It doesn't take a lot. Just trying to get into our parasympathetic nervous system and breathing and stretching is a really good way to do that. So just breathing again now, but this time we're just doing circles with our shoulders, so in and up, out and down. Really slow down that breathing. If we're just doing shallow breathing, what happens is our breathe, our brain still thinks we're in a fight and flight mode. So what we're going to do is nice deep breaths. You know, four seconds in, four seconds out kind of thing, even pushing it right up to so like seven seconds. Yeah, I'm going to give that a little bit of a shake out now for today. I hope you enjoyed the workout guide. I think it's pretty good. Uh, if you want to support this channel here, because they've been pretty awesome and help check out me to show my work, be sure to like and subscribe and head over to Willpower's website for more information. If you want to see more of me and what I do, head to Adapt to Perform. That's anywhere on YouTube, Instagram. I've got over 300 workouts just for wheelchair users, so there's plenty there that you can check out. Huge thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all next time in the next video, okay? Bye, guys.